everyone. I'm here today to introduce you to one of the newest features in Mach 4, the Zero Brain Editor. This new and improved script editor provides you with a safe space to play around with Lua, test your scripts and macros, and maybe even learn something new. If you're already a seasoned professional when it comes to writing scripts, the Zero Brain Editor will make your life even easier. If you're new to the Lua game, like I am, and just trying to dip your toe into the scripting waters, this is the perfect place for you to practice and learn. To get to the Zero Brain Editor, open up Mach 4 and head over to the Operator dropdown, then select Open Script Editor. You can resize this to whatever size fits your needs. I'm going to maximize it so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. A good place to jump in if you're just getting started is going to be the Lua Examples folder. This is included when you download Mach 4 and it'll be a wonderful resource for you as you learn. The Lua Examples and other script files you have available are found in the Projects tab on the left here. There are examples for different kinds of tool paths, activating outputs, and a couple options for message boxes, as well as a few other fun ones sprinkled in there. Now you'll also want to find the API documents and make sure those are handy so you can look up calls that you aren't familiar with. To get to the API documents, go back to Mach 4, make sure you're enabled, and you can click Help Docs. You can also go up to the Help menu up here and click Documentation folder. It brings you right to the same spot. The file that we're looking for is called Mach 4 Core API. Now, this allows you to look up terms by category or alphabetically whenever you get stuck or want some more information. There's all these different categories to choose from, and if you're not sure what category it fits in, there's an alphabetical list right here for you. Definitely a great tool to keep around. Now, I want to start by showing you a simple file from the Lua examples and how to debug it. So, this script just displays a message box. It's about as simple as you can get, but it's a great place to start. You can begin debugging using the play button here. Then the buttons for step into, step over, step out, and run to cursor all become available. Clicking the play button again will debug the script. To add a breakpoint, click between the line that you want to select and the line number. Or you can click the line you want to select and click the toggle breakpoint button there. You can add multiple breakpoints in a single script and then use the markers tab to keep track of them as well. This script, you really just need the one. If we finish debugging, we'll see that there are no errors and my message box will appear. Hello world. Next, I want to show you what an error would look like. So this script allows you to activate an output and we're going to sabotage it by commenting out this line here. Now let's run the debugger and see what comes back. So the zero brain editor not only lets you know that there is an error, but it also tells you where to find it and what the problem is. In this line here, we can see that it's on line 10 and the error is that it expected a number for parameter two, but got a nil value. That's because if we click this and highlight line 10, it's looking for the input output name, which we've commented out. Now, one other cool thing about the Zero Brain Editor, if I hover over that component there, it gives me some more information on what it is and what the requirements are for using it. At this point, if any of the terms are unfamiliar, I can refer back to the API and figure out what I'm dealing with. If we want to keep a closer eye on MC Signal Get Handle, we can right click and add watch expression. This opens a small pop-up window that you can use to watch the expression as you run through your program. You can add multiple expressions to the watch window and if it's easier, you can dock the window and keep your screen nice and neat. Another tool you can use to keep on top of things is the stack. The stack shows available functions, calls, and variables and how your script is affecting them. To open the stack, we go to view stack window and the pop-up will appear. Now like the watch window, you can also dock that here. If you ever want to undock those windows, just go to view default layout and they'll just appear as pop-ups like they did before. Now as always, you can check back with the API docs if you're unsure about any of the terms that you're seeing in the stack window and this tool will help you understand how each of those changes you make in a script will affect the rest of your environment. When it's time to add your own style to a script, you'll notice another handy tool. As you begin typing, the Zero Brain Editor opens a dropdown with options based on what you're typing. I'm going to fix the error I created and show you how that dropdown feature works. So, you'll notice, as I begin typing, a list appears below with guesses at what I'm trying to do. So I can either keep typing, or I can choose the option from the dropdown. Now it does this every time I start a new word. It'll try to guess what I want to do. 
which is very useful if you're not exactly sure what term you're trying to use. Now, you can always refer to the API and look it up, but if you want to just type it out and give it a guess, this will give you an alphabetical list of what you're looking for. And it autofills. So anything that starts with mc.osig underscore o is going to appear in this list, and we want output 1. Now there's one last thing I want to show you before we wrap up this intro video, and that is the outline tab. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but that's because we have two very basic scripts open. This tab is most useful when you're looking at a more complicated script, so let's find one. Let's go to our project tab and scroll all the way to the bottom, and there you'll find the screen script.lua. Now if you've already played around a little bit with the screen editor, you may be familiar with this script. Now if you're not, the best way to get familiar with it is to play around with it. Now if you check out the outline tab, this is an overview of the entire screen load script, which is a pretty hefty script, but it breaks everything down into functions and states for you. So if you want to just look for your go to work zero button and figure out how to adjust that, you can click right there to find it. If you want to pick a specific button and see what that button does, you can choose toggle jog mode left up script and it'll jump you right there. Now that is your quick and dirty introduction to the Zero Brain Editor. You have all the tools in your toolbox now to create some pretty awesome scripts and I cannot wait to see what you come up with. As always, happy CNCing!